Kanyakumari, India is a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained, today the country is taking huge strides on the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Uzma Jafri and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give you a glimpse of our country's diversity. Chhat Puja is an ancient Hindu festival celebrated predominantly in the eastern states of Bihar, Jharkhand and West Bengal. Dedicated to the solar deity Surya, women show gratitude and worship the sun god for four days and pray for the well-being of their spouse and children. Let's take a look at this year's festivities. Observed on Kartik Shukla Shashti, Chhat Puja traces its origin to prehistoric Vedic times and has now got a special significance as a folk festival. Though dedicated to the sun god, devotees also worship his younger sister, Chhati Maya, commonly known as Goddess Usha, during the four-day festival. It holds immense significance for married women who observe fast, present religious offerings to the sun god and maintain utmost cleanliness throughout the occasion. The rituals and traditions of the festival are very hard as the devotees had to fast for 36 hours without a single bite of food or a drop of water. On the first day, also known as Nahai Khai, devotees or vratis take a bath, particularly in the river Ganga, and bring the holy water of the river to make prasad at home. If you go out and ask, if you are Bihari, then you have to take a look at the chat and take a look. तो कितना महत्व है छठ पर्व का तो आप जानते हैं बिहार की आइडेंटिटी है ये आप कह सकते हैं इस पर जो है इसका और सूर्य भास्कर की सूर्य देवता की पूजा होती है इस दिन और हम लोग सब लोग इसको पिछले कई सालों से कर रहे हैं इसमें तो निर्जला वर्त होता है अभी यार आज सुबह से उठकर के हम लोगों ने ये प्रसाद बनाया है यहाँ हमारे घर में दोस्ती रोटी और खीर बनती है उसका और एक चावल के आटे का जो बनता है वो बना है on the second day, also known as Kharna, Vratis make offerings that comprise Kheer, Puris, Chapatis and Bananas besides offering fast for the whole day. The toughest is the third day of Chhat when devotees, mostly women, observe a rigid fast where they neither consume water nor food. In the evening, they go to the bank of the river or pond carrying along with them Dori, a basket made up of bamboo sticks in which they keep the offerings that comprise of Thekwa, Puri, coconut, banana and other seasonal fruits. Pinaya is the final day of the holy festival on which devotees gather at the bank of the river early in the morning to offer morning offerings to the rising sun, following which they break their fast. Bihar is very important in Bihar. And the special thing about this is that there is no mantra or pandit involved. तो ये पर्व अपने निष्ठा से अपने विश्वास से किया जाता है मेरे लिए तो ये पहली बार है मैं पहली बार कर रहा हूँ ये पर्व और काफी खुशी हो रही है छठ इज कंसिडर्ड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट सिग्निफिकेंट एंड ऑस्पिशियस फेस्टिवल ऑफ नॉर्दर्न बिहार एंड इन द पार्ट ऑफ नेबरिंग उत्तर प्रदेश एंड झारखंड इन विच डिवोटी स्ट्रे टू द राइजिंग सन फॉर द वेल बींग एंड प्रोस्पेरिटी ऑफ दर चिल्ड्रन एंड स्पाउस with time, the festival has also gained popularity in metropolitan cities as people from these states migrate in large numbers to make a living. India's culture and civilization go back to the ancient times. It is the spirit of mutual tolerance and assimilation that has made it possible for our country to pass the test of time. Recently, the Chhat Puja festivities witnessed a number of examples of people of different religions contributing to the festival. Let's have a look at two of them. As the festivities of Chhat Puja started taking place in different regions of the country, examples of different religious communities actively participating in it started coming out to the forefront. As the festival is predominantly celebrated in the eastern part of the country, most of these examples emerge from states like Bihar, Assam and West Bengal. In Patna city of Bihar, Muslim women have been making and selling clay chulas for years for Hindu women to perform Chhat Puja, thus setting an example of peaceful coexistence and harmony. 
आ बोरे आते हैं तो नहा के आते हैं अच्छा लगता है दुनिया को कहाँ चले मैं अपना पर लेते हमको अच्छा लगता है बनाने में हम मान वो करते छठी मैया को मेरा बेटा हुआ था दो ठो बेटा है तो मेरा बेटी का बड़ी शौक था तो माने हम कि मेरा बेटा जो हुआ छोटा बेटा वो हो गया छः साल के पाँच साल के तो माने तो पाँच साल बाद बेटी पैदा हुआ तो पाँच साल सूप लगाए थे बगल में लगाए थे बगल में हिंदू रहता है मेरा बगल में तेली है तो उसी को उसका कोई पर्व होता है तो वो बैठा ही खिलाता है मेरा कोई पर्व होता है हम बैठा ही खिलाते हैं जैसे कि ईद हो गया कुर्बानी हो गया उसको लच्छा दूध वो भी खरना के दिन जया खीर पूरी बनता है वो बैठा के खिलाती है Women prefer using clay chulhas for chhat puja rituals and for preparing prasad or the holy sacrament which is distributed during the puja. These women have been making these chulhas for years and setting an example of brotherhood in the society. In another example of women breaking religious barriers and symbolizing brotherhood, a Muslim woman named Najma Khatun has been performing the chhat puja ritual for years. Khatun has been doing chhat puja for the last 9 years and her family also actively participates in all rituals. Khayal laya se mera bal bachcha nahi je raha tha. Acha. To isliye ek bagal wali ke gaye ek pakwan pakave to bole iske man ne to maan lo se jiyega. Do aulad hua mera. Acha. Do aulad sahi salamat hai. To kare lage. Hum. Aur kitne bal bachche hain aapko? Ye teen ladki do ladka hai. It is due to example like these that India stands as an unbreakable example of unity and brotherhood with all religious communities collectively participating in each other's festivities. And now a round up of some of the major stories that made news recently. Bollywood superstar and everyone's favorite Shah Rukh Khan celebrated his 52nd birthday on November 2nd. Super excited fans gathered outside his house Mannat to wish the actor in Mumbai city. Shah Rukh made an appearance on his balcony and to wave and greet the fans. His little one Abram was also spotted with his father. The duo looked adorable as they waved at the people standing outside Mannat. Lucknow's Lulu Mall claimed to create a new Guinness Book World Record for most people lighting oil lamps in a relay. Customers, employees and retailer employees participated in the relay held in Mall's courtyard. Earlier it was done 250 diya. It, that was the record. World record. 250. But our record we are just covered 350 diya. The employees were happy to be part of this achievement. Today long international film festival brought cheers to cinema lovers in Kashmir. It was organized by Vomet Group in Srinagar. सबसे बड़ी बात है कि आज हमने इस फिल्म फेस्टिवल में पहला एडिशन है हमारे कश्मीर में हमारे पास अराउंड दस कंट्रीज से मूवीज आई थी और सिर्फ एक महीने में हमने ये नोटिस निकाला और हमारे पास मूवीज आई और इसमें नेटिव कैटेगरी की मूवीज हैं शॉर्ट फिल्म है जो डे टू में दिखाई जाएंगी सबसे बड़ी इंपॉर्टेंट चीज है कि जो यहाँ का टैलेंट है हम बार बार बोलते आ रहे हैं कि यहाँ का जो टैलेंट है वो बहुत ज्यादा टैलेंट है यहाँ के यूथ में बच्चों में तो उनकी फिल्में शो के यहाँ दिखाई जाएंगी कल्चर एंड प्रोवाइडेड प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर यूथ During the film festival a number of films were screened and a large number of audiences especially youth attended it films are also one of the best mediums to get knowledge about other cultures and traditions abhi ka bolta hu kyunki bade festivals mein main gaya hu berlin gaya dubai gaya hu meri filmein wahan gayi hain to festival ka ek bada ek important cheez jo hota hai na ki ek to ki aapne jo product banaya uske liye aapko audience milti hai ek critique aapko milta hai wo aapko feedback dete hain और यहाँ पे बहुत सारे लोग हैं जिनके साथ आप नेटवर्किंग कर सकते हो बर्थडे फेस्टिवल्स में क्या होता है कि आप इंडी इंड, आप खुद ही प्रोड्यूस कर ली फिल्म बना ली अब नेक्स्ट फिल्म के लिए तो पैसे नहीं दोगे ना लेकिन फेस्टिवल में जाके आपको प्रोड्यूसर्स मिलते हैं नेटवर्किंग होती है तो आई थिंक फेस्टिवल होना और कश्मीर में होना दैट्स अ रियली गुड थिंग समाशनल शॉर्ट फिल्म फॉर स्क्रीन टू अट्रैक्ट दंग जनरेशन टूवर्ड्स फिल्म कल्चर 
with the film festivals a positive message will go across the world and filmmakers will prefer to shoot films in Kashmir India is a country where Sufism has not just flourished but has also become a way of integrating different religious communities even today the teachings of these saints inform the lives of people and this was very well witnessed at the shrine of saint hazrat shah qiyamuddin alias khaman apir where people of all faiths assembled to seek the blessings of the holy saint The shrine of Saint Hazrat Shah Qaimuddin has served as a sinecure of communal harmony for generations, which is thronged by a large number of devotees every day from across the nation, irrespective of their religion. Located at Charbagh Station in Lucknow, this darga is 950 years old and came to the limelight when the British were building Charbagh Station in the city. Regarded as one of the greatest Sufi saints, Baba Khaman Apir throughout his life spread the message of brotherhood and peace. हर मजहब के लोग आते हैं कोई जात बिरादरी का कोई लेना देना नहीं हर आदमी की आस्था जुड़ी है हर लोग आते आस्था अपनी अपनी जुड़ी है जो अपनी मन्नत मानता है सच्चे दिल से यहाँ पे आता है उसकी पूरी होती है यहाँ पे सभी धर्मों के लोग आते हैं ये नहीं है कि सिर्फ मुस्लिम आए सभी लोग आते हैं Coming from far and wide, these devotees visit the shrine to seek the blessings of the holy saint. It is considered a hub of cultural and religious harmony. It is believed that saint fulfills the wishes of all, and nobody returns empty-handed from her. Forming an integral part of the public ethos for the last several centuries, even today, the Sufi traditions play an important role in the lives of the people and connote them with an understanding of the world in all spiritual dimensions. जो यहाँ हमारे ज़ायरीन हज़रा जो दर्शनार्थी होते हैं वो हमारे हिंदू भाई होते हैं जो यहाँ से बड़ी अकीदों तो मोहब्बत रखते हैं और आते हैं अपनी मुरादें लेकर उनकी मुरादें पूरी होती हैं यहाँ हर मजाहब के लोग ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा तादाद में तशरीफ लाते हैं और सबकी मुरादें और मनोकामनाएँ पूरी होती हैं Since ages, the Sufi saints like Saint Hazrat Shah Qaimuddin have propagated the message of spiritualism and harmony in our country, and their teachings are still playing a significant role in strengthening the thread of secularism. The message of peace and brotherhood comes out loud from these targas, and these sites have been acting as symbols of communal harmony for ages. Kashmir has a rich culture and heritage. To promote the same, Indian Army organized a special cultural art and food festival in the Kupwara district of Kashmir on the eve of National Unity Day. The event also aimed to encourage the local talent of the area. The event showed the tradition and culture of Kashmir in the best way. An amazing mixture of culture and heritage was seen at the Cultural Art and Food Festival which was organized by the Indian Army in the Pansgam area of Kupwara district in Kashmir. The program was organized to promote the talent of the youth in the valley on the occasion of National Unity Day. The event brought life to the whole city. National Unity Day is the celebration of the birth anniversary of Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel. The event also witnessed a record turnout of approximately 3000 people. जो आज का हमारा जो ये प्रोग्राम था वो नेशनल यूनिटी डे था हम सफरे पंजगाम जिसको हमने एक नाम दिया था तो यहाँ की इंडियन आर्मी ने ये प्रोग्राम ऑर्गेनाइज किया था तो यहाँ पर मेन जो इवेंट का था वो एक तो कल्चरल को हमारे जो कश्मीर का कल्चर है उसको प्लेटफॉर्म देना और आर्ट का उसके बाद जो हमारा फूड है इसके ऊपर तो यहाँ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्या बोलते हैं इसको हमने यहाँ पर हर एक स्टॉल्स लगाया था जॉब फेलियर्स के लिए हमने लगाए थे Various performances were organized including dance and music to showcase the talent of locals and children. Sufi songs and Kashmiri chakri brightened the environment and were enjoyed by the crowd. 
The event also provided a stage for students to showcase their talent. This will also help in providing employment opportunities for the youth in the valley and keep them away from drugs and other illegal activities. The Kashmiri traditional dance Rauf and Pahari Gatka and Bhangra were also performed in the event. Melodious numbers were presented by renowned artists of Kashmir including Adil Rashid, Danish Ahmed and rappers Shadi and Mudassir. Ye jo aaj ka program Indian Army ne munaqad yahan kiya National Unity Unity Day isme bahut sare culture program munaqad kiye gaye in program ko dekh ke bada hi enjoy humne yahan kiya बहुत सारी पब्लिक यहाँ आई हुई है पहली बार ऐसे प्रोग्राम हमें देखने को मिले हम चाहते हैं कि ऐसे प्रोग्राम बार बार हों यहाँ पे बहुत सारे कल्चर इवेंट्स हुए ड्रग ड्रग एडिक्शन पे भी बात हुई Various stalls of government department jobs were also placed with the collaboration of district administration Kupwara for the people who came to enjoy this event Locals appreciated the Indian Army for conducting this fest for providing a platform for the local hidden talent and employment opportunities for the youth. Altogether the festival was a wonderful conglomeration of different art and cultural performances that showcased the rich traditions of the state. And in the end we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. This glossy and beautiful tableware is made of mirai wood or what is known as future wood. It is mixture of biodegradable plastic and waste wood which is used in making baseball bats. This project has been jointly developed and executed by the Tokyo Metropolitan Government and a local company Tokyo Metropolitan Industrial Technology Research Institute is supporting private sector's technological advancements by conducting tests research dissemination and technical support related to industrial technology the institute aims at improving lives to organize biodegradable plastic project it made public recruiting Ryoka Sangyo was nominated as a partner. It is a company that develops products for plastic food containers and medical equipment and has high quality processing technology. Ryoka Sangyo ですね、まあ50年以上ですね、プラスチックの生産に加わっ関わっております。まあその中でまあ世の中あの脱炭素ということでプラスチックの削減というところがいろいろあの取り沙汰されております。我々もですね、もう50年以上プラスチックやってますんで、その環境素材というものを開発ですね、これを着手しておりました。と三木県さんの公募がありました。ミライウッドという環境素材ですね。これの開発の始まりです。Administrative leadership and private sector's cutting-edge technology help in realizing real sustainable development goal of the society. With giant kites soaring the skies, the Guatemalan community of Santiago Saquet Paques commemorated its traditional Day of the Dead. Handmade out of paper with striking designs, the gigantic kites took months to complete. To believers, the worlds between the living and the dead mesh together during this special time, and people acknowledge that as they tie handwritten messages for their loved ones to the tails of kites. These messages convey to the dead in heaven that their family and friends on earth miss them and they are also intended to help spirits on their journey down from heaven to earth. Recordamos a los que todos son nuestros seres queridos que se que ya han partido a a una mejor vida. Eh y la tradición de acá de Santiago pues el de los barriletes gigantes eh cuentan nuestros abuelos de que de que es el día que ellos pueden digamos eh con nosotros vivimos convivir con ellos acá 
y los barriletes pues eh, de distintos colores es para orientar digamos unos ma los malos espíritus. The tradition of flying kites outside cemeteries in Guatemala dates back over a century. Guatemalans believe the kites are led by winds and guided by spirits until 4 o'clock in the afternoon when they come down and families meet at home to wait for the arrival of the spirits. Motorbike giant Yamaha Motors conducted a test flight of its first airplane at Fujikawa Gliding Field in Shizuoka Prefecture. This test flight was undertaken with the cooperation of Shinmeiwa Industries. Shinmeiwa manufactured the airplane and Yamaha Motors provided 499cc engine. The engine that Yamaha Motors used on this airplane was modified according to the needs of the airplane. え、ま、初めての今回初めてっていうところになってくると思います。ただ、Yamaha Motors is one of the most famous and technologically advanced technology firms that has made its mark all over the world. Reminiscing about old times and inspired by the animation series he used to watch as a child, Libyan artist Adnan Al Karfani started painting portraits of characters from a young age and is now sharing the work. He's done over the years at an exhibition in the Libyan capital. The story of على يعني ما فيهاش الدماء ما فيهاش الايداء تعطي في معلومات زي تلقى زينه مثلا تعطي معلومات حقيقيه من من الواقع يعني فانا حبيت الرسوم هذه وحتى الرسوم القديمه يعني holding an exhibition featuring characters like Grandizer, Sasuke, Mrs. Pepperpot and Conan and Lana Karfani says they deliver a message of optimism that good will prevail over evil Taking place in Tripoli, the exhibition was attended by people from different age groups and parents were seen explaining some of the portraits to their children. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at anin.com. I'm your host Uzma and it's goodbye from the entire production team. <laughs>